What's up Airsofters, August here from Airsoft and more and today we have a review of the Elite Force G36 Elite OEM by Ares. So in this video we'll go over the externals, the cool features that come with the gun as well as a shooting and chrono test. So let's get right into it. Starting on the external features, uh, we'll start at the front here. We have a approximately 21 inch long barrel starting from the orange tip all the way to where the hop-up unit ends. So this is a long barrel definitely for a outdoor playing style. Uh, we have a bayonet lug up front right here so if you did want to mount a bayonet you can do so. Uh, we have a one piece polymer handguard right here that is removable via this one pin and you can actually take this off and that will expose the battery compartment which has a small type Tamiya connector. Alright, right here we have quick deployable bipods that collapse nicely into the front handguard as if it's almost not there. So this is a very, very uh, nice addition to the G36 Elite because you always have a bipod there. It's out of the way when you don't need it and when you do need it when you're going prone on the airsoft field just quickly deploy it up forward and you have a nice bipod and it has a little bit of side to side swivel so you can lean left or right making it that much easier to use when you're in the prone position. Alright so moving on to the receiver. This is a full high density polymer receiver yes just like the real thing the g36 is not metal it is polymer so just like the real thing it stays true to its form it's got nice hk g36 trades on the side so plus there for realism you even have uh, markings on the magazine 556 by 45 so more realism right there so this is one of those guns, anything by Elite Force, especially their trademark line, they do a excellent job in replicating the airsoft replica to the real thing as best as possible. So uh, other features that this gun has, it has a MDEX's charging handle that can be charged from either the right side or even the left side, and it has a functioning bolt catch. So when you press up on this, the bolt will actually stay back so you can make adjustments to your hop-up which is inside the uh, receiver right here. So you lock the bolt to the rear, make your adjustments, and you can send the bolt back forward. Alright, so moving our focus to the top of this gun. This is what makes the G36 Elite so special. It's got a carry handle style mount right here that has two integrated optics and one laser sight. Yes, right out of the box, so this will be a very versatile weapon at both long range and close quarter engagements. So you have your red dot optic on top here and a magnified optic right below it with the red laser offset to the right. All right, shifting our focus to the bottom end of the gun, you can see right here that your selector switch has a uh, additional firing mode. You have safe, semi, two round burst, and full auto, and that is achieved using the MOSFET that comes pre-installed into this gun, meaning you can use a 11.1 high voltage LiPo. But the two round burst is a very nice addition that most guns do not have these days. Other features is the ambidextrous mag release. It's right in the center, so you can easily take the mag out from either the left side or the right side. And I forgot to mention that the selector switch is ambidextrous as well. All right, last feature on this gun is the stock. So this is your standard G36 stock, and it will fold to the side and lock in on the right side so you can make the overall length of the gun shorter by almost 12 inches. Other features that I forgot to mention are a few sling mount points. You can see that there's one up front, one right here, and a, another sling mount point on the left hand side. Alright, so now that we went over the externals and all the features of this gun, we're going to pop in an 11.1 volt LiPo and we are going to chrono this gun. So stay tuned. Alright, so this is going to be the chrono of the G36 Elite using two O-gram Elite Force BBs and a 11.1 volt LiPo. Let's check out the results.
All right, so we're getting a lot in the high 400s, 420 region, so this is definitely a outdoor rifle. All right, so this gun is a electronic blowback gun with simulated recoil. So in this shooting test, we're gonna demonstrate the blowback action as well as all the different firing modes. So we're gonna start off with semi. Two round burst. And full auto. Let's go wind up this high cap a little bit. Wow, so that electronic recoil is music to my ears. It has a nice electronic kick to it. Very nice rifle. Alright, so in summary, this is another awesome airsoft gun by Elite Force OEM by Ares. Whenever you're looking for an awesome, well-detailed, trademark airsoft gun, Elite Force is the go-to brand. I really like this gun in particular because of the electronic recoil. It makes it so much more fun to use on the field compared to a regular AEG. The features on this gun, all the different utilities, are very, very nice. It makes this gun very versatile, including the... Uh, collapsing bipod and the two different optics. You can fill many different roles with this gun including a support role or even a DMR role. One thing that I wish that was a little bit better is the eye relief on the magnified optic. You kind of have to get at least two to two to three inches uh, close to this um, to this optic. So I wish the eye relief was a little bit better but once you're at that perfect distance it is a very very nice optic. So all in all this is an awesome awesome gun. A little bit too long for me but in the right hands it could be a deadly deadly airsoft gun. So if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more airsoft content. This is August from Airsoft and more signing off. Alright and this is going to be a full magnum.